So a Black Lives Matter activist by the name of Pamela Moses has been cleared of voter fraud charges, and she would not have to stay in trial again in the case that was brim with injustice against the Tennessee woman. Now, our sister here who had a previous felony conviction, she was tried to register vote in 2019 after receiving confirmation from the state that her rights could be restored, except you know, the sister had permanently lost her voting rights under Tennessee law. So she was convicted of voter fraud and probation violation and sentenced to six years and one day in prison in January. Now that doesn't make any sense. If y'all told her that she could vote, she good. Then let the person that told her that go to jail six years. I mean like six years, really six years. The, it, what they do to our people, black people in America, it, it just, it's just unreal. And this is why I always say this system is evil, is corrupt, and it had is definitely built in the foundation of America anti-black hatred. Period. Because you notice they don't they don't treat other groups of people like they treat us. Now they say new evidence in the case showed a probation official erroneously gave Moses clearance to register to vote. She was released in February and was awaiting a new trial. Now Shelby County district attorney, Amy Werich, he said dismissed the charges on Friday. He said in the interest of judicial economy. Now the DA said in the statement, they say the Memphis woman spent 82 days in custody for allegations at which is sufficient, but the prosecutor does not address the state's missteps. And many condemned the DA statement online. Yeah, because y'all wrong. Y'all should be giving this sister to sue y'all. I, I hope she called because listen, whatever y'all want to say about Benjamin Crump, Benjamin Crump gets that bag for him. I say that much. So if I was her, I would call Benjamin Crump say, Hey, Benjamin Crump, they, they, uh, unlawfully incarcerated me. I need my civil suit and, and, and they should pay. They should pay whatever it is. They should pay. Now I said Tennessee criminal court judge Mark Ward accused you know, the sister of tricking the probation office into certifying her rights restoration documents. Talking about an investigative report later revealed that probation officials made the error and misled Moses into believing that she could vote. That judge needs some uh, uh, pro, uh, some sort of disciplinary too. They say internal email is a published. It said showed that the Tennessee Department of Corrections probation officer did not thoroughly check Moses file and, and stamped it's a document validating the end of her probation. It said Moses took the document to the election office to complete her voter registration. It was flagged by probation officials the next day. War said the email was withheld during the trial, even though the probation officer took the stand. You see how corrupt they are? Very, very corrupt. As a Department of Corrections internal investigations, it said found, it said that the employee identified as manager Billington, it said did not do his due diligence in September, 2019, when he overlooked an order that kept Moses on probation until August 13th of 2020. It said the sisters, uh, you know, she started checking her probation status when her candidacy for Memphis mayor was rejected by election officials in summer 2019 because of her prior conviction. Now the activist convicted for evidence tampering in 2015, saying the fence that permanently strips is there her of a right to vote in Tennessee. It said Moses name was still on the voter rolls. It said election officials never mentioned the preceding laws. Instead, Moses was advised to get her rights restored. It said Moses first sought confirmation from a judge who said who told her she was still on probation. Then she then went to the probation office to double check. So the sister did her due diligence to make sure now that is so wrong. You sitting in jail behind something you double checked yourself and they told you, yeah, you good to go. And then you go out there and vote. And then this happens. Now voting advocates and other supporters said this case exemplifies the deep racial disparity in sentencing white Americans with more straightforward allegations of voter fraud has been sentenced to less time than Moses or, you know, have not received any jail time at all. It said the district attorney's announcement came the day after the South Carolina elections commission revealed the former president, Donald Trump's ex chief of staff, Mark Meadows was registered to vote in North Carolina, Virginia, and South Carolina at the same time. And the New Yorker reported in March that Meadows was registered to vote in North Carolina under a 14 by 62 
foot mobile home where he didn't live despite voting with the address on his voting records in 2020. He also voted in a gubernatorial it said election in Virginia in 2021 and Russia to vote in South Carolina a uh, month later. Now I say the 10 C NAACP has sued governor Bill Lee state corrections and election officials for failing to establish clear procedures for Tennesseans with felony convictions to get their rights restored, leading to a rights restoration process that's unequal, inaccessible, opaque, and inaccurate. Now they also say the 2017 study found that more than 8% of applications for voting rights restoration submitted in Tennessee were rejected because the voters were still ineligible. They say the denial rate was higher among black men is they had more than 22%. Oh, we are surprised about that. That really shocks me. So they say NAACP, it's a lawsuit alleged that less than 5% of the tens of thousands of disenfranchised voters who are eligible to get their rights restored in the state have not been able to even obtain an application of just 1% and say of that at least 365,356 people and say that have completed their sentences, including probation and parole, had the applications approved since 2016. The lawsuit filed it's a, in December, 2020 alleged to about 175,000 other wise eligible black voters cannot vote in Tennessee because of a felony conviction, according to the criminal justice nonprofit organization sentencing project. Well, let me, let me tell you, let me tell y'all something here. I mean, let's, 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 let's get to this. No one should have their right to vote taken away from them. They came up with that to make sure to try to disenfranchise black people from voting period. There was this uh, race soldier that we covered a while back. And this particular race soldier has said that he was trying to put charges on black people, the, all the charges that can stop black people from owning a gun and voting because that's the two things that they don't really want black people to do. Now voting is a right. You could choose to vote. You could choose not to, but I don't believe your right should be taken away from you. It should be a choice if that's what you want to do, right? Because there may be times that we need to galvanize and vote for somebody. It could be local. A lot of times your local politics is, is really your most important politics. It may be somebody in the Senate, maybe somebody in Congress, you know, all the way up to, to federal level, right? Um, the, the president, whatever we choose to do, whether we choose to sit, sit something out or we choose to go out and vote is a choice. Just like they don't take your freedom of speech away when you go to jail. So why they, they notice that's the only right they take away from you, the, the, the right to vote. And okay. If she's banned from voting in Tennessee, that's Tennessee. Cause she moved to another state, you know, I mean, she, if she definitely, she's cleared off probation cause she moved to another state. Let's say if she moved to Georgia, cause she moved to Georgia and vote or cause she moved to wherever she would like to move. Since they say that's a state law, cause it's not a federal law. Fe fe there's no federal law that banned her from, from voting. So since it wasn't fed, she's made to move to another state, right? But yeah, they, they are anytime we're talking about some voter fraud crap, they're coming out to black people for it. When we know these folks had commit more voter fraud, fraud in general, they creators of fraud, but yeah, they don't want to come out to black people trying to scare black people from voting. If they choose to, I'm all about people having a choice, whether you sit it out or vote, it's your choice. And I don't think nobody should take that choice away from you either or because trying to pressure people to vote when they want to sit it out. That's wrong too. leave people the hell alone. Let them make their own decisions. But I'm glad the sister got out. And like I said, she needs to sue they behind, but y'all let me know in the comments. Y'all think about, you know, this, you know, our sister here being, you know, jammed up by, by these folks, you know, they, they treat black people any old kind of way in this country. Like I said, it's just beyond sick.